My name is Carlo Liverani. I come from Milano. I work in the main, main university hospital in, hospital in that city, in Italy. We are uh, accustomed to do the pap smear as a screening for cervical cancer. The people perceived a positive result as an oncologic problem. The women are perceived this not as an oncologic test, but as a, as a sexually transmitted disease. So as soon as they come positive, they say, why I have a high risk virus, which is sexually transmitted and there is no cure. So it's a big problem. And women can cope with this uh, information that you give, even if you try to explain in the best way you can. So it's a very big issue, this overdiagnosis, not only in terms of cost, but in terms of anxiety, stress, and the difficulty in relationship. I'm not interested if the woman has the virus, because many women, as near all sexually active, active uh, men and women, will get HPV in some point in, in their lives. The problem is that only a few of them will have the lesions. And these lesions are, have a very slow progression rate. I mean, from high-grade lesions to progress into invasive cancers, it may take 10 years or more. So there is no use in detecting very, very early something that uh, can be detected maybe a little bit later without uh, making at risk, uh, putting at risk the patient. The main issue is the, um, the guidelines and the, mem the, the members who requested to define these guidelines. Some of them are for good intentions, not necessarily because of con many have a conflict of interest, but the m many have good intentions. Against good intentions is very difficult to fight because if you ask the doctors or the women, everybody wants to do as much as they can, but this is not the right choice always. Mm -hmm.